it just doesn't make sense. A vicious cycle is what it is. I, I come from a family who I was physically, mentally abused. My mom, well, she's going to hate me for this, but I don't care. This is a documentary. It's, it's all for, you know, for the better of mankind, I would believe. So if anybody can learn anything from this to stop what I'm doing, and if they could learn something, then that would be beautiful. My mom was sexually abused by my grandfather, and it's called incest. She was abused from the time she was three until she was nine. And my aunt was too. And so my mom has been extra super duper protective of her children. So that's one factor. The other factor is that through all that pain and heartache, she experienced things that no human being should have to go through. And she's a survivor. She's my hero. And she's, she's a warlord. Okay? She graduated from warrior when she was about nine years old. I have rage. It starts out as frustration, then it goes to anger, then it goes to rage. When you got rage in your heart, it's fucking it's hard. I've had so many brutal things, memories, scars, emotional, physical. Uh, forget about it. Uh, when I drink the beer, the pain goes away. Because when I think normal, straight, as a sober man, I remember the pain. I remember the pain and the anger and the hurt and the smashing and the crashing. The, destruction, whatever. I think it's more important, it's more, it takes more courage to face it, you know, face your courage and face your fears sober than to mask it with a band-aid and being drunk and forget about it. Because then it just leads to more pain and more anger and more fucking rage. It's a vicious cycle. Now, you've talked a lot about your pain in the past. Yeah. If you had to sum up what is the most painful thing to you, an, an image or um, an event, something that happened? What would that be? I think it's how I got my name, Wolf. My grandfather, when he was you know, doing his thing with my mom. He, uh, he's a sick bastard, is basically the point. He, he, has, he used to raise sheep on his, his land, you know. This is in New Mexico, and he was molesting my mom with incest. You know, he'd already, he'd already done that. So, the, you know, the guy's a sick bastard, so. He takes me out to, I'm like seven years old, and he's got all this sheep. And there's wolves that come around, you know, they eat the sheep every now and then. And so I thought he was cool with me, you know. He always used to treat me really cool. And then one day he takes me out there and it's because he used to have this shed. He would he built the shed where he would kill a sheep and chop it up and put the meat there and leave water and a door open for the wolves. So they wouldn't have to kill those sheep. They could smell it. They got a really good sense of smell. And, uh, so they'd go there and eat, and they'd leave. They wouldn't feel like they were in a cage, you know? They could just eat and leave and eat and leave. And he could keep his livestock. So he went out there one day, and he goes, Hey, come here, I want to show you something. So we go out there, and I'm a fucking little kid, you know? He gets a big old rock, and he's walking with that rock, and I'm thinking, what the hell is he going to do with that rock? He hit me on the head right before we got to the shed and my head cracked open. I got a big scar right there with a lump. He cracked me on the head and threw me in that fucking thing and closed the door. He sat out there and I could hear him speaking Apache and I'm going, what the fuck? I was crying my ass off. And uh, 
the wolf showed up. He opened the door. The, there's a lot of meat there, and there's water. And I seen those things right before, because all the blood started running my eyes, and I couldn't see. And uh, I go in there, and then he closes the door, and he puts one of them latch things on it. <coughs> this wolf shows up. He opens the door. The wolf goes in. He closes the door again. <coughs> and now I'm freaking out, because my head's already cracked, and now there's a hungry wolf in there. And I just went to the corner. I just cowered in the corner. I just cried and cried and bled. And so about an hour later, he and I could hear his footsteps walk off. He just split. And uh, he, I don't know, man, he's a weirdo. He was trying to test me who I was. Or I don't know what the hell. And, uh, I was just sitting there, and then the wolf started to sniff me. And he came up, and I'm like, fuck, I'm through. I'm finished. And my grandfather just cracked me in the head with a rock. Now I'm going to get eaten by a wolf. You know, this is not a good day. And uh, so the wolf started licking my head. He licked up all the blood. Started getting cold. The sun set. It started to turn nighttime. And the wolf ate the meat and drank the water, and I shared his water. I wouldn't eat that meat, but I drank some of his water, and then we curled up in the corner. And my grandfather showed up in the morning and fucking opened the door. I couldn't believe it. He got a fucking shotgun, and he killed that wolf right then and there. And, uh, you know, he told me, go on, come on, let's go home. See, because my mom had went out of town, that's why she left us there. And he said, your name is Wolf now.